happening now. Stepping up in a time of need. That's what volunteers are doing in Western North Carolina. Many people working to provide disaster relief for those who are affected by Dorian. The group Hearts with Hands has been packing food and supply boxes all week long. The first load will go down to the Bahamas later this week. Fox Carolina's Kayla Convoy joins us live now with what these volunteers are exactly doing. Hey, Kayla. Hey there, they say helping out is what they do, and we've seen time and time again when they immediately step in after a major storm. This time, though, could be tricky with the impacted areas of the Bahamas so difficult to access. Boxes stacked high, loaded to the brim with supplies. Going down the line, you can see everything from food and water to hygiene items, the essentials many are going without. You got to remember in a storm like this, when they lose power, they lose water, uh, they lose all the resources, if they refrigerator, freezer. President of Hearts with Hands, Greg Lentz, says that's why it's so important to go into the areas as quickly as possible. So he started making plans the second he saw the destruction, Dorian left behind. As soon as the storm happened and is over, we're able to get straight in there, get those supplies into the hands of those folks, and that will hold them for a few days while they're waiting on the power to be restored or a grocery store to be restocked or things of that nature. But because the damage is so intense, it will be no easy task to get these boxes to the Bahamas. The airport in Abaco is three feet underwater, so uh, once that goes down, they get it safe. Then we'll begin to distribute and get supplies into there as well. So first, they will load everything onto a trailer, driving the supplies down to an airport in Florida where they will work with pilots who can fly everything over once it's safe. But don't worry, Greg says there are enough supplies to go around, up and down the South Carolina coast, if need be. While we're waiting on Dorian to do what it's doing up the eastern seaboard, and then once it, it you know, gets a land location, what it's doing, then we'll begin to specifically target those specific areas, whether that be Florida, North Carolina, South Carolina, whatever the case may be. They've had more than 150 volunteers packing those boxes the last few days, and he has no doubt there will be a strong showing later this week when it's time to load up. And if you're interested in donating to Hearts with Hands, they do tell us the most needed items right now, deodorant, toothbrushes, and canned foods. Tori, back to you.